God damn is this game hard. Don't get me wrong though, I love every second of it. And I'm gonna tell you why. Castlevania, Metroid, Metroidvania fans, stay tuned. This one is right up your alley. Ladies and gentlemen, a first impressions of Dark Flame Demo Edition. I absolutely love indie games. They have a feel that a lot of big titles are missing. The passion from the developers that goes into a project like this makes a real difference. And it's ever present in Dark Flame, being developed by Warren Smith, who can be found on Twitter by username at Boris Dugdum. You play as Tariel. Unfortunately, there isn't a lot of story involved as it's only the demo, but he appears to be some kind of warrior, hunter, explorer, battle master, monster destroyer, outfit rocking, sword swinging, spell casting, diva dashing super guy. It's your job to make your way through the various bosses, chopping them into pieces, and then moving on to the next. Those who are familiar with any of the Castlevania handhelds or Symphony of the Night will be comfortable navigating their adventure. Luckily for anyone who hasn't experienced the amazing experience, it's easy to get into but difficult to master. You're essentially playing a side-scrolling beat-em-up RPG. As an RPG, you're bound to level up and get stronger. You have three separate stat areas you can put your points into. Strength, which will give you an HP boost, Agility, which is an SP boost, and Intelligence, which is an MP boost. You gain money from killing monsters in your path. The money can be used to buy various pieces of equipment that will give you boosts ranging from different elemental resists, physical resists, and also make your appearance change. The various weapons you're able to obtain vary in attack speed, attack function, some hit twice for an example, and provide various stat boosts based on your stat distribution. There also appears to be different weapons that are more focused on a magical build rather than a physical. I like to be in the fight, so I didn't really get to use magic too often. Castlevania has always had a rockin' soundtrack, never an easy thing to match. But Warren caught lightning in a bottle here. If he hired someone, he picked the right person. If this is Warren's own work, he's a man of many talents. Once you stop dying and you get further into the game, the music kicks into a more rock vibe, which is beautiful for the genre. It has its quiet and somber moments, but they all fit exactly where they're placed. As it is an alpha, some things are bound to change. Although I had a great experience and hard games are fantastic, there were spots where I felt the game was less hard, more cheap. I'm no stranger to dying because of my own recklessness, but when it comes to an enemy just waiting to attack me the second the screen pans over, that's not hard. It's a cheap shot on the player. I'd prefer even two enemies closing in or an enemy closing in really quick. Other than that, I have no complaints. Be hard, don't be cheesy. It's an epic ride, especially for those who are fans of the genre. You won't be disappointed when you download this game. As it's free, you really have nothing to lose. Just prepare to die. A lot. For those who are fans of the Castlevania series, you know you're going to like this one. Those looking for a challenge, you found it with Dark Flame. Casual players or newcomers, it certainly doesn't hurt to try. I can't suggest it enough. My hat's off to Warren for a great alpha build. I can't wait for the full release. Thanks for coming by to check out this first impressions. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the newest content. Until next time.